Yes, so we work still working also on the question on uh, how different metabolites are changing before the onset of Alzheimer's disease. And what we think is that in many patients, uh, before they develop the, the disease, they have a change in their gut microbiome. And this may be partly driven by the genes causing Alzheimer's disease, but it may also partly driven by the uh, lifestyle of the people, what they eat, uh, how much they do exercise. And what we've basically been finding now, very strong evidence, that um, the gut microbiome is really determining the metabolite in your blood. And that may have an, a secondary effect on how uh, the brain can perform, because the blood and the brain are, of course, uh, always communicating in the sense that uh, nutrition goes inside into the brain and uh, the uh, chemicals which are no longer needed are taken out. So what we found is actually that uh, the communication between the gut and the brain may be very important for people to maintain a uh, healthy posture and healthy um, lifestyle, but also uh, vice versa, that the brain is steering uh, the gut and telling it, well, can you change a little bit more uh, the absorption in the brain so I have a little bit more fatty acids or bile acids that I can use uh, to battle the disease.